Hey guys, Marley here, and welcome to another video. Today, I am coming to you with something very exciting. Another Halloween special of The Sims 4 Blood Island. Pew, pew, pew. And today, it's a very special occasion because it is Halloween. So, I'm ready to kill some Sims. And I hope you are too, remembering that the winner of this challenge will be getting a game pack of their choice. I will be contacting them after this video. Um, if you don't know the rules and regulations of this challenge, I suggest watching the first episode. Otherwise, you'll pretty much learn as you go. It's pretty simple to figure out. Without going on too much, let's go ahead and get on the gallery and get our sims into the Blood Island house. Okay guys, we are here with our first two sims. Yes, that's right, one person submitted two sims. That's because y'all bitches don't want to enter my challenges. So we needed six sims and my friend Nick was happy to oblige. He gave me two. Um, so this is Andrea and Acacia, an odd couple of friends who met in college after Acacia drunkenly threw up on Andrea. Andrea likes to think she's angsty and edgy, but harbors a not-so-secret love for pink. Acacia is bad to the bone and ain't nobody gonna mess with her. Let's see if their friendship will survive the Blood Island house. <laughs> it's telling me that some items were removed. That's because I'm not good at keeping custom content in my game. Was it the eyelashes? Nick always tells me I need to make sure they have eyelashes. There we go. So we have Acacia, who is ambitious, cheerful, and materialistic. And we have Andrea, who is gloomy, cheerful, and what is that one? An art love. Next up, we have a sim by Kenobi. This is Santana de la Cruz, a young, intelligent, and outgoing woman. She is really confident, but will she survive? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, I really like her style. She really does look confident. She looks like she's in it to win it. And she is outgoing, self-assured, and a genius. Our next sim is from Hankernet. Diana sees, seeks inspiration. She has to write a book and will go anywhere to find that inspiration, even if that is a mysterious island. Hmm. Diana King, not sure you know what you're getting into here, but your creator has submitted you and we will enter you anyway. And Diana's traits are creative, loner, and self-assured. This is Jenna Lockhart by sim user Jenna Krause. She is a neat, family-oriented, and self-assured sim. She did not have a description, um, but she is here to compete in our Blood Island house. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, we have from Nadina. This is Iris Greenwood. Iris Greenwood is always looking for a challenge, especially when it comes to testing her athleticism and ability to survive the great outdoors. But will her thirst for challenge be quenched in the Blood Island, or will it test her in ways she never has before? I think we are going to find out today. This is Iris Greenwood. Okay, friends, we are back, and our friends here are entering the Blood Island household. Per the rules of last time, they will have 24 hours to get to know each other and build skills. We already have some friendship going on over here between these two. They are forming a quick alliance, Mrs. Iris and Mrs. Acacia. And we have our resident loner, Shayla, just kind of standing off in the background looking, oh, nope, there she goes. Blood Island House sits on a beautiful tropical island in all of its spooky glory. Right there, there it is. All of its spooky glory in the sunrise. You can see the oceans of Sulani around it. It is a foggy day, so the view is limited. It looks like that Mrs. On Andrea? Andrea, I'm gonna say Andrea. Looks like that Mrs. Andrea is um, onto what this challenge is all about because she is already sitting here by herself doing a nice little game of chess. We have Mrs. Santana who is eating some food. Um, Santana, do you have any skills that you come with? She does. So Santana comes with level 5 charisma, level 5 guitar, comedy, fitness, cooking, logic, gardening, mixology, piano, video gaming, and fishing. Amazing. What about you, Iris? Iris, who is outside having a long chat with Acacia. Um, Mrs. Iris has the skills, has no skills, so she's coming in here an underdog. But if she can last through these early game challenges, she is doing great in terms of relationship building early on. Mrs. Diana. 
she is no skills as well again she's watching tv over here maybe not as helpful for her early game but you know what you are allowed to do whatever you want in the blood island house and i believe she's here to write a book so you know she's looking for inspiration meanwhile we have miss shayla back here practicing her basketball getting the fitness skill up she has handiness three which might help her in the competition today logic and fitness Again, Andrea is playing chess. She has logic level one. And Acacia has persuasion level one. Very interesting. Okay, guys, it looks like those plates don't really exist. They are ghost plates. Ooh! Speaking of ghosts, we may see an appearance from the felled competitors of Blood Island one. Mrs. Nia Smith, Rip Nia, Mrs. Catalea Vaughn, Rip Catalea, and Mrs. Natalie Vincent. Um, their ghosts could be making an appearance today. You never know. We've been in about two hours and we are starting to get um, a little bit information about their personality archetypes, which does come from the Slice of Life mod, as well as the Wonderful Limbs mod, which we have both installed here. Maybe we'll see some Sims woo-wooing in this challenge. We have the welcome wagon here. I'm gonna go ahead. We don't have a host for this challenge because I just felt like last time they were weighing us down but I will go ahead and let um, the Sim come invite neighbors in. Obviously, it's good to make friends in this challenge. So Diana, you can invite our neighbors in, the ones that still wanna visit, and you can start chatting away with them. Like I was saying, no Sims host for this challenge. I am the host. We have these two sitting on each other's laps playing chess. I'm sure that's, that's great for their relationship. We have Iris and Keisha still talking outside. For this relationship thing at the end that happens, there are two strategies here. We see these two playing the strategy of getting your relationship very high with one sim. So you're gonna get a lot of points here. If we go here, they already have 36 points in that category. Um, but the other strategy is to have a relationship with all of the sims as much as you can like have a little bit with all of the sims. Both strategies are viable and we have seen both strategies play out well for sims in the past okay guys like i said they're going to get 24 hours here i'm going to go ahead and keep playing the game i will come back with you guys if anything interesting happens and if not we'll be back for the next challenge just something a little funny we have mrs diana over here sitting on the couch and she is just feeling so confident and smug right now which is like good for her the confidence is amazing I'm very happy for her, um, but she currently has one skill, and it's a level one. And all she's done since she's gotten into the house is watch TV. But this girl, she's confident about her TV watching. And you know what? I respect that because so am I. This is me on an everyday basis. So you know what, Miss Diana? You keep that confidence level up. Okay, friends, it is a bright and early a Monday morning. We have a ghostly visitor, Miss Nia Smith in the nude, looking good girl. She came back in her ghost form to tell us all that she is the baddest one here. And oh look, there's a surprise outside. That's because today's challenge is bowling. Yes, bowling. The spookiest game of all. Woo! Um, <laughs> no, I just, I wanna do a bowling competition. That's what I decided. And I'm gonna give them all about, I don't know, eight or so hours. I'm gonna give them all until about 5 p.m. to get their bowling skill up if they so choose to. It looks like we already have Mrs. Acacia coming over here to do some bowling. She saw this outside and she was like, I'm gonna take advantage. Um, so I'm gonna give them all until about 6 p.m. to get their bowling skill up if they so choose or you know do anything else. And then we will do the wheel spin to find out which two Sims will be competing in today's challenge. Okay guys, it is nearly 5 p.m. which means we are going to select the first two Sims for our challenge. To do this, this time in true Lil Simsy fashion, I have implemented the use of a wheel spin. Ta-da! With everyone's names on it, we are going to spin it twice and see who the first two sims to compete will be. The first sim is Santana, yay! Now, Mrs. Santana has been playing, you know, the long game, 
um, because some of the Sims decided that they were going to play with the bowling in case they got chosen for the bowling competition. And some of them decided that there's a chance they won't get picked for this competition. And so they need to keep building their skills in case they get picked later on. Unfortunately, Santana seems to have gone that route. So she has never been at bowling before. So all we can hope is that her competitor has thought the same thing. Let's see who the second competitor will be. Okay, guys, and the second competitor is Diana. So Diana will be the second Sim competing in our bowling competition today. I know what you're thinking. Bowling isn't that spooky, and I'm here to tell you we can't really do that many spooky things in the game. So this was orange. This is what I'm going with for this contest. Take it or leave it. We need to bring Mrs. Diana down here and also Mrs. Santana to start the first competition. Okay, I had to cheat a little bit. She wouldn't bowl because she was too uncomfortable. Um, but now they are bowling a 10 frame game. We're going for the long haul. Voting has expired, bowling skill acquired, blah, 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 blah. Can we get the other Sims to come watch? Yeah, we can. So I'm gonna get everyone out here to watch. Stop sleeping, stop doing those things. Come watch the challenge, please. Um, they are both acquiring the bowling skill for the first time. And we are seeing a live as they learn how to bowl. Neither of them are in bowling attire, but that is okay. Um, they have slipped on their bowling shoes though, which is very cute. Let's watch and see how she does. And she gets, ooh, a gutter ball. Wah, wah. Um, and while this game is happening, we are seeing these two who came into the house already acquaintances forming their friendship a little bit deeper, Mrs. Andrea and Acacia. Um, and we see Shayla over here giving both of them tips, helping them out. Diana doing a really nice bowl there, taking down all but four of the pins. Maybe 10 frames was a bit overkill, but... Ooh, and we have a strike from Mrs. Santana, helping her catch back up in this competition as she has not been doing too well at bowling. Oop, and guys, while this contest is progressing well into the night, we have got a visitor from a very angry Catalea. She was not happy to lose, um, but she's here. She's here to spook. Come on, guys, let's get this bowling show on the road. Diana is a loner sim. She doesn't like talking to people. That's fine. I don't need you to talk to people. I need you to bowl. It is almost 2 a.m. in the morning. I don't know why these contests always seem to go all the way into the night. Um, clearly bowling was a very lengthy activity and maybe we should have done something shorter than 10 frames, but we're already here. So we are going to stick it out until the very end. No more chatting for these two. These two are now just steadily, steadily competing trying to get to the end of this game. I think at this point, oof, and we're seeing uh, Santana do a little jig on the aisle here. She's feeling super confident about that last bowl. All right, guys, let's finish this up, shall we? Uh, I'm happy to see our past contestants coming back to take a visit, taking an interest in the game. You really love to see alumni. This is like in The Bachelor, when they have like the last bachelorette come on and give them advice. That's what's happening here. Catalea, she, she's here to, to be a good alumni to the Blood Island game, you know? Okay, guys, we have a winner. Up here, we got the notification that Santana de la Cruz won the bowling with a score of 123. She's also got a movelet from feeling confident about winning. Um, and our poor girl, Diana, she, she does not feel in anything. She, she's just very feeling blank about the whole thing. Um, unfortunately, you guys know what this means. Mrs. Diana, Mrs. Diana. I loved your story, I loved your personality, you know, I thought you were a valiant competitor in this episode of Blood Island, but unfortunately, um, you have lost the contest, and that means that it is time for your time in the Blood Island household to come to an end. I am a sorry to see you go. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. The Grim Reaper will be appearing shortly. But unfortunately, that bowling game lasted well into the next day. So Santana, you are kind of missing out on your night in the good room, but I will um, allow access to you and allow you into the good bathroom if you would like to 
come get a good snooze and a good bath while this is happening. She's running inside, people are mourning. I am going to get rid of those mourning moodlets if they have them um, because it just it makes the game too, too difficult. Okay guys, it is getting close to 5 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and get all of the Sims to start coming outside because the next challenge will actually have something to do with Halloween and that is a pumpkin carving challenge. So just like our cooking competition, the results will be whether or not the pumpkin comes out, what quality it comes out, and whoever comes out with the best quality will win the competition. So guys, it turns out that I am dumb and pumpkins actually do not give you a quality rating. Okay, anyway, we're gonna do an emergency tiebreaker and luckily I have, I have an idea up my sleeve because while we might not have a lot of um, specifically Halloween themed activities in the game, do you know what a good cozy fall activity is? Um, Cause I can think of one and that's knitting. So today we're gonna, we're gonna switch it up and have a knitting competition. All right guys, we are playing this on fast mode, the beautiful island of Sulani right out the window. It's great inspiration for knitting. We're doing this in three times speed because this is technically their second competition of the day because I'm dumb. So we're doing this in three times speed. Here's an empty bottle. We're ready to go. They are knitting it up, knitting it up fabulously. They're both knitting very colorful patterns to become a black and white beanie, but that's not for me to judge. Um, all I'm here to judge is the quality at the end of the day. So let's hope that one is better than the other. Okay, I'll be back to you guys. Oh wait, they both finished knitting. They have both finished knitting. Um, okay, so they're, they're, you know, people are coming over. Iris, what is the quality of your hat? It is quality normal. And Mrs. Shayla, what is the quality of your hat? Quality normal. All right, knit again, friends, knit again. Um, you are going to knit now a white tiger beanie and you Miss Iris are going to knit now a white tiger beanie and we're going to hope that one of you proves to be the knitting champion. She has finished first but she does have a lower knitting skill so 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 let us see how her creation turned out. She has knitted level a normal and Shayla has knitted Level excellent! That means that Shayla is the winner in today's competition. Shayla, you have done it, girl. You have won. Let's get a screenshot for the road um, for your valiance today. There you go. Good job today, Shayla girl. And Iris, I have bad news for you. Mrs. Iris did great in today's competition. She was poised, she was practical, she was involved. Um, unfortunately, none of those things have saved her. Mrs. Iris, your time in the Blood Island household has unfortunately come to an end. Oh no, the lightning struck her indoors. Well, well, either way, there she goes. Instead of the classic death in front of the house, she was she was blessed with um, with a, a different death. Uh, she was standing in the wrong spot. That was on me. Can't kill her twice. That's the way it be. Okay, guys. So, I was trying to think of something extra, extra spooky to be our last challenge today. And um, then I remembered that it's almost election day. And what could be spooker, spookier than the American political system? Ooh. And you know what reminded me of that? A debate contest. So today, the final contest of the day will be a debate. Ooh, spooky! Um, and if you're an American, you know what I mean. So let's will spin to see who our bad debaters will be today. Acacia. Ooh, fun, 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 fun. Andrea. Okay. So it is a debate between the friends. They went to college together. Can they debate it out, duke it out for the Blood Island, a uh, chance to go into the Blood Island finals? Let us find out right here, right now. Okay, I have the two of them coming now. I'm going to get the other Sims to watch the debate if possible. Um, the town is here for you. Sorry, buddy, we just, we can't do it today. We, we have some things going on. Don't play the, that is so rude. What are you, stop it. Stop it, yes, come watch the debate. Um, and we're going to see what we can do. 
So we have our girl, um, Acacia, going first. She's telling us all of her points. And she looks very impassioned about these points. Um, Andrea's reactions, of course. Now here's her rebuttal. Hmm. They're both making excellent points here in their debate about whether gnomes are cute or creepy. I'm on side of cute. So that's the winner to me. Andrea doing a little eye roll. This is what I meant. Debates are spooky. Um, <laughs> okay, Chef, forgetting what she's talking about there. That's okay. I do it all the time. Doesn't make you a bad debater. I love it. I love to see it. She's feeling embarrassed because she's a debate dud. Oh no, wait. The debate is over and poor Andrea has lost. How do we know she got this moodlet? Debate dud. Andrea spoke from the heart, but it wasn't good enough. Maybe next time she should prepare more so that it isn't such an embarrassment. Debate domination. Acacia came, she spoke, she conquered. What an eloquently worded argument. Wow. Well, well, our dear friend Andrea, I hate to say it. Um, you were a great competitor. You did amazing things here in the Blood Island household. You know, I think that you came on with your friend and maybe that was the bad decision, you know? It might have helped you in the relationship panels if the two of you had gotten along, but you didn't. And you have now lost to her in a debate. So unfortunately, um, Andrea, your time in the Blood Island household has come to an end. Um, I'm sorry to see her go. She was a great competitor. And that leaves three left. Santana, Shayla, and Acacia for the final competition. Obviously, all three of them will be eligible for this competition. I will come back to you tomorrow when we do our final wheel spin of the day. Okay, guys, it is the next day. It is time for our final competition. Let's do our last wheel spin to see who will be competing in this final competition. Santana! Acacia! Woo! Okay, so it looks like Shayla. She competed in the first competition and then has managed to just wiggle her way out of doing any other competing, but let's hope that she has been working on her relationships because as we all know, that is the real indicator of who wins the Blood Island household. Now, um, now, um, I was thinking, I was like, all right, what's something else that reminds me of Halloween? And, and kids dressing up at Star Wars. That's what reminds me of Halloween. That's the only exposure I have to Star Wars. So the final contest today will be a lightsaber duel. This time, guys, we're gonna try it one more time. Another challenge I will be watching very closely to determine who wins the challenge. This will be determined by me watching the fight. Um, apparently, on the Wikipedia, it says that one person will be forced to yield. So that is what I will be watching for, and I will be making the final decision on who it was. Oof. We're seeing a very balanced fight so far. Ooh, with Santana getting pushed to her knees, but taking a swipe. Wow. Wow. Um, and what's really cool, I took a lot of stage combat classes and acting school, and a lot of this looks really realistic to, like, sword fighting techniques, so I love that. All right, come on, guys. One of you must be the victor. Okay, guys, it should be coming to the climb. <gasps> and Santana has won, forcing Acacia to yield, disarming her from her weapon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Acacia, I am so sorry, my friend. You were a great competitor. You did a lot of good sword fighting. But unfortunately, your time in the Blood Island household has come to an end. And there she goes, friend. Um, we have two competitors left. Obviously, I will allow both of them to live as I did last time, but it comes down to the final judgment because in the Blood Island household, it does not only matter um, how good you are at challenges, but remember that this is inspired by Love Island. So the final challenge is the friendships you made along the way. Maybe the real only fans is the friends we made along the way. Anyway, let's add up these relationships and determine a winner. We will do Santana's first. Santana, your relationship panel, please. Okay, so your first relationship number is 13 plus 14 minus 9. So 
13 plus 14 minus 9. Yes, I could do this in my head, but I just want to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes here. Plus 15 plus 12 plus, no, negative 9. So plus 15 plus 12 minus 9. 36. And finally, plus 12 plus 12. So doing way worse than our competitors of episode one, you were coming out with a total of 48 points, Mrs. Santana. Mrs. Shayla, let me clear the calculator again. I could do this all in my head, but just to be sure that we're being completely fair, I will not. Um, Santana has 11 <clears throat> plus 15 plus 15 plus 17. Wow, 11 plus 15 plus 15 plus 17. We are at 58 so far. She's already winning, but she does have a negative here, so we'll go ahead and do the whole thing. Plus 19 and minus 9. Coming out with a total of 68 points. So with a score of 68 to 48, Shayla has won the Blood Island competition. Bow, bow, bow. And her acne is cleared up. Shayla. This has been a great day for you, buddy. Um, I'm very proud of you. And as is um, tradition here, Santana, you are allowed to live as you are second place. We will be doing an episode with all of our second place winners once we have enough, so stay tuned for that. But guys, that is going to be the end of Blood Island. With our winner, Mrs. Shayla, I will contact her creator over on Twitter and get them their game pack. Okay, friends, that is the end of this episode of The Sims 4 Blood Island. I want to make this a continuous series on my channel because I think it is so much fun. So go ahead and start submitting your Sims to the hashtag Blood Island 3. I don't know what the giveaway will be for that one. It will decide closer to the time. So make your Sims for hashtag Blood Island 3 and I will start searching on them for the gallery soon. The only restrictions are if you use CC and I don't have it, it may or may not get replaced. Maybe, because... I'm bad, but if you want to see all the CC I have installed in my game, I do have a video over here that is um, me downloading all the CC that I still currently have. So if you're looking for what you can use, that's all the safe stuff. And besides that, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will be contacting the winner as soon as this video goes live, and I hope you guys all had an amazing day. Leave me a comment and a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out the big giveaway I'm doing over on Twitter right now. And I think that is all, friends. I will see you later. Goodbye. Mwah.